as a youngster, my introduction to classical music was through the Baroque period. It was when I heard Vivaldi uh, and Bach, particularly in the minor modes, I always thought, mm. hang on, they're, they're yeah. Middle Eastern yeah. melodies. They were part of, of a world capital or a world centre at the, at the time. And so you had this incredible influx and outflux of spices, art, people and so there was all this likeness. Um, the way I learned music was the Arabic modal system and that's what I used to compose and improvise. What we're trying to prove is that it must have existed, they must have heard this music. This cross-pollination of um, musical styles is a thrilling way, I think, to keep alive classical music. do this because we enjoy it. I mean, we enjoy the repertoire. It's fun to play. Um, it's, it's, I've been playing with the orchestra for almost 15 years and so there's a real friendship there. Each, each piece will have a, a section for improvisation and the whole idea is uh, Tarab is, is basically the ecstasy in music. It's that you're reaching this point. The melody is almost a way to get you into the mood for an improvisation. Orchestras tend to be quite stiff, I mean they're very structured, but I think with the ACO, and that's the great thing, there's a lot of smiling going on on stage, there's a lot of energy, people are digging into it and playing, and there's, I mean that's, that's why I kind of like performing uh, with the ACO and Richard, it's just like there's this energy, there's a lot of friendship, as I said we can share a laugh, um, and, and it's, it's, uh, it's a relaxed atmosphere, but very serious at the same time, I mean we're doing this stuff and we're 100% focused on doing the best that we can with the, this material. Thank you.